Ever wondered how to choose the right colors for your room? Start by understanding your space. It's not just about picking a color you like. It's about finding the color that best fits the room's function. For instance, if you're selecting a color for a bedroom, you might want to consider soothing hues that promote relaxation and rest. On the other hand, a living room might benefit from vibrant colors that encourage conversation and energy. Lighting is another essential factor. Consider how much natural light the room gets during the day and the kind of artificial light you use at night. The same color can look dramatically different under various lighting conditions. A shade that looks cheerful in bright sunlight might appear dull under soft, warm indoor lights. So, keep in mind the function of the room and its lighting when you begin your color selection process. Once you've understood your space, it's time to find inspiration. Now, where could we find it? Everywhere. Magazines, websites, social media platforms, even the world around you. Look for color schemes that strike a chord with you. Maybe it's a vibrant, energizing palette that caught your eye in a design magazine. Or perhaps it's the calming, muted tones of a sunset photo you saw on Instagram. The options are endless. Now let's bring all that inspiration together. Create a mood board. It could be a physical board with cutouts and paint swatches. Or a digital one on a platform like Pinterest. This board will house all the colors, textures and images that resonate with you helping you visualize the overall look of your space. This isn't just a collection of pretty pictures. It's a tangible representation of your style, your preferences. Remember, your mood board is your guiding star in this color selection journey. Now that you have some inspiration, let's delve into the fascinating world of color psychology. Colors aren't just visually appealing they have a profound effect on our emotions and mood. For instance, blue with its calming and serene aura is perfect for creating a tranquil space. Red, on the other hand, is energetic and passionate, making it a great choice for rooms where lively conversations take place. Green, symbolic of nature, is refreshing and harmonious. While yellow, the color of sunshine, is cheerful and uplifting. Each color has its unique personality. And understanding these can help you create the desired ambiance in your room. Imagine a peaceful bedroom bathed in soothing blues or a vibrant kitchen radiating with the energy of red. The possibilities are endless. With color psychology in mind, think about the mood you want to set in your room. It's time to choose a dominant color, the one that will set the tone for your room. This is the color that will cover most of your room, typically the walls. Think of this dominant color as the main character in your room's story. It's the one that commands attention and sets the mood. But how do you choose this star player? A good starting point is to consider neutral tones. Colors like beige, gray or white are highly versatile. They can create a calm, serene backdrop and allow you to play around with other colors in your accessories and decor. However, if you're feeling adventurous, don't shy away from bolder hues. A deep blue or rich green can serve as a stunning dominant color, lending a sense of drama and sophistication to your space. It's all about what resonates with you. Remember, your dominant color 
will be the backbone of your room's color scheme. With your dominant color in hand, you're ready to create a color palette. Building a color palette around your dominant color is a bit like creating a culinary masterpiece. Just as a chef carefully selects ingredients that complement the main dish, you'll be choosing colors that harmonize with your dominant hue. This process is made easier by using a tool that artists have relied on for centuries, the color wheel. The color wheel is a circle showcasing a spectrum of colors. It's a visual representation of the relationships between colors and it can be your best friend in this color picking journey. Here's how to use it. If you want a vibrant, lively room, look for complementary colors. These are colors that sit opposite each other on the color wheel. For example, if your dominant color is blue, its complementary color is orange. These two colors, when used together, create a dynamic and energetic vibe. On the other hand, if you prefer a more harmonious, soothing atmosphere, consider analogous colors. These are colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. If your dominant color is green, its analogous colors could be blue and yellow. This combination creates a serene and balanced look. Now let's talk about balance. A well-considered color scheme follows the 60-30-10 rule. This means 60% of the room should be your dominant color, usually the walls. 30% is the secondary color, which could be your upholstery or large furniture. The remaining 10% is your accent color brought in through accessories and decor. This proportion creates a balance that's pleasing to the eye. It allows the dominant color to shine, the secondary color to support, and the accent color to provide that pop of interest. Remember, creating a color palette is not a rigid process. It's about experimenting and discovering what works best for your space and your taste. So go ahead, play with colors. Try different combinations. A well-balanced color palette can bring harmony and interest to your room. Let your creativity flow and have fun with it. Before making a final decision, test your colors with paint samples. It's a small step that can make a big difference. While color swatches can provide a good starting point, there's nothing like seeing how the color looks on your actual walls when you apply paint samples directly to your walls. You're able to see how the color interacts with your room's specific lighting conditions. You'll be surprised at how different a color can look in the morning, afternoon and evening light. And it's not just about the light. The color of your paint can also change depending on what's next to it. So, if you're testing multiple colors, be sure to leave some space between each sample. Don't rush this step. Take a few days to observe the samples at different times and in various lighting conditions. Testing paint samples can save you from potential color regrets. Size matters. The size of your room plays a role in your color choice. It's a key factor that can either make your space feel larger or smaller, depending on the shades you select. Lighter colors are renowned for their ability to make a room feel more spacious. They reflect light, creating an illusion of openness and airiness making them a great choice for smaller rooms or spaces lacking natural light. On the flip side, darker colors can create a sense of coziness, intimacy and drama. They absorb light, which can make a large room feel more intimate. However, in a small room, they may make the space feel even smaller. So before you pick up that paintbrush, 
take a moment to consider the size of your room. Do you want to emphasize the space or create a cozy nook? Consider your room size when choosing your color scheme to achieve the desired effect. Now, let's not forget about the existing elements in your room. These elements could be your furniture, flooring and textiles. It's essential to ensure that your chosen color scheme complements these elements instead of clashing with them. Think about your wooden floor or your favorite armchair. How will your new color palette enhance these existing elements? If your furniture is primarily neutral, you might consider a bold wall color to add some excitement. Or if your furniture is colorful, perhaps a more subdued wall color would suit the space. And what about textiles? Your curtains, rugs and throw pillows are all part of the room's overall look. Delight in the details and pull colors from these items to tie in with your color scheme. Remember, it's not just about the color on the walls. Every piece in your room contributes to the overall atmosphere. A harmonious room considers all elements, not just the color of the walls. Once your color scheme is in place, accessorize. Textiles and decor are your secret weapons in bringing your chosen palette to life. Curtains, throw pillows, rugs, and even blankets can introduce additional colors and textures that enhance your overall scheme. For instance, a neutral room can be enlivened with vibrant patterned pillows or a colorful rug. Moreover, decor items such as vases, artwork, and plants can also play a significant role in reinforcing your color scheme. A strategically placed piece of art can pull together your color choices and serve as a focal point in the room. Consider the materials and finishes of your decor items as well. Metallic accents can add a touch of glamour while wooden elements can bring warmth and a sense of nature into your space. Remember, your accessories can also be a source of color inspiration. So let your creativity flow and have fun accessorizing. Finally, trust your instincts. When it comes to choosing colors, your gut feeling is your greatest ally. You live in your space and you know it better than anyone else. So don't be afraid to choose colors that resonate with you even if they're not the in thing right now. Remember, there's no such thing as a wrong color. It's all about how that color makes you feel. If it brings you joy, comfort, or serenity, then it's the right color for your room. And here's the best part. You're not married to your color choices. If you paint your walls a certain color and then decide it's not for you, it's okay. You can always adjust and experiment. Your room is your canvas and you're the artist. At the end of the day, your room should reflect you. So go with colors that you love and happy decorating.